Pro Boxing fans here with George Groves. George, we've just seen Lawrence Ecoli uh, back in the ring after a uh, length of time out. Not, not what people are expecting. People are expecting a knockout within the first couple of rounds. Didn't happen, but got the points decision. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, I mean, he won. He won really clearly. I, I didn't have him dropping around. I know he had a point taken from the last round, but other than that, um, yeah, he, he wasn't the, the best performance, I suppose. But he has been out of the ring for a long time. He's uh, bedded in a new relationship with um, Sugar Hill. I think he was started really well. Um, started first round, great right hands to the body. Um, sort of changing up variations with the left hand. Um, came away from that a little bit after his first half of the fight. Um, but David David Light played his part. He just rock solid, took took some big shots, um, weathered the storm. Um, his, 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 his plan is to close the distance and try and land something. Um, he couldn't land anything, so it was a bit scrappy at times and Coley didn't find that dynamite shot tonight. But um, but good, really good. I mean, he's, he's, he's so much... Um, He's so much more of a well-rounded fighter than he was, you know, a couple of years ago. You know, now we, he, he, at times, he, he will struggle to control the distance because guys just want to, you know, press him. But his nice, general ring craft is much better, um, pace himself much better, um, and he does find a home for that right hand. So um, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get rid of the guy tonight, but I think he is tough. Um, so, I thought it was good, really good. As a fighter, when you hear the crowd booing a little bit, there was a little bit of booze going on. What do you do with that? What do you make of that? I had the headset on, so I didn't really hear any booze. I did hear a couple, but I didn't know if it was coming from the uh, the Aussie corner, you know, uh, the, the Austrian, New Zealand corner, yeah, the Kiwi corner. I don't think they mind if you call them Kiwi. So, uh, yeah, but I don't think you know, it wasn't resounding booze. I don't ever want to hear booze at boxing. Booze resonate louder than cheers. And uh, there was nothing here to boo tonight. You know, they didn't stink the place out. Um, the only thing that happened was that Coley didn't get that knockout punch. And in, and in fairness, he did come quite close from, you know, a couple of times. Just before I do that, before I let you go, just a couple of questions on uh, the disappointment this week of Taz Fury Usyk not happening, officially called off. Talks um, a lot of fans showing the disappointment online on on ring, ringing into talk sport as well. What do you make of that? Yeah, well, you know, I, I suppose it has been fun. I haven't followed it diligently. I've seen a couple of clips, but I suppose for the fans, it's quite fun for the public. You know, humiliation slash negotiations. Um, what's next? What's this? What's that? You believe what you want to believe. Um, so the truth usually lies somewhere in the middle. Um, maybe the date that was set, the, the, the April 29th date, was never a realistic date. I mean, you can't have essentially the biggest fight in boxing promoted over four weeks. It should be over four months. So whether it does take place at the end of the year and then each has a run out before then, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's good, man. It's, it's interesting, I think. I think yeah, it, it's so much. There's so so much money talked about, yeah. but if you sit down and do the maths, it doesn't equate nowhere near that in the UK. You can't do that many pay per view buys. You would get nowhere near that many pay per view buys. Um, it, it, there's, a, there's only nine thousand seats at Wembley. How much are you going to charge per seat? You know, are you gonna? You got to pay tax on that. You, you got to pay commission on that. Someone else is going to have a little bit of an upside. Um, it's only if you go to somewhere, like maybe Saudi Arabia, where someone's willing to pay a massive side fee for that money. Other than that, you just don't equate. We don't have, the, we have a pay-per-view uh, model, um, but we're not in the United States where you can do three, three million buys, um, about hundred dollars a pop. Right? Over here, that fight, sure it's a big fight, but it's nowhere near as big as what I mean, Joshua and Tyson fight would have been you know, a couple of years ago. So. We'll see. Um, your mate, Carl Froch. Yeah. Uh, talks really well about you. I watch his videos and he's been talking well about you. He said Tyson Fury is a walking contradiction, except 70 30 on this side. But you know, he said he said he's going to fight AJ for free and now he wants 70% of the purse. I know Carl and you get on quite well right now, but do you agree with this point of view? As I say, I haven't followed it diligently, but yeah, of course, everyone knows Tyson Fury is a walking contradiction. He says one thing, he says another. You know, he says he's retired, that he's out, that he's out of retirement. Um, 
it's almost like anyone who anyone says that's not the truth then they're a little bit in denial and that's part of the quirky charm of Tyson Fury sometimes it works for him publicly sometimes it doesn't you know, when he's fighting a Deontay Wilder who just never been able to capture the public's imagination just a panel one villain then he can be that hero you know when Anthony Joshua was the hero um, you know British boxer world boxing he got beat by Ruiz and then he took a bit of a dip and then you know, Fury ended up capitalising from that um, publicly but it's hard to go up against Usyk who is funny extremely talented but he's not boxing he's defended his country um, in a war zone so you know you're going to try and do a public negotiation with essentially just um, people then if you are going to contradict yourself people might be less forgiving than they would be if you was doing the same thing again uh, talking about Deontay Wilder or someone of the like. Cool. George, I do appreciate your time. I know you've just finished your Sky Sports, you probably want to get off right now. Thank you very much for giving me your time once again. Thank you for talking to pro boxing fans. I appreciate no, it. Thanks, Evan. <laughs>